Jeff Sessions yesterday went in front of the um, uh, Senate Judiciary uh, Committee. Uh, he sits in front of them today, I guess, as well, right? And um, I think we're going to hear from testimony today from Cory Booker is actually going to testify against him, wow. which is... Um, Running for president. Which is him, a declaration for pre But I like the way he's doing it. I mean, look. Yeah. Oh, of course. Here's the thing. And here's where we are, folks. Uh, Cory Booker has, in my mind pretty bad record when it comes to cozying up to investment bankers, <laughs> a pretty bad record when it comes to privatizing of education. Uh, he has distanced himself a little from that since uh, getting into the Senate. I don't, like I've always said, I don't care what's in the heart of politicians. I just care about what, what they are, um, what wind fills their sails. And um, so far, Cory Booker is, um, his sales are being uh, uh, filled by wind that I like. I like to see him go and say, F this supposed Senate comedy, C-O-M-I-T-Y. Not only am I not going to uh, defer to him because he's a Senate colleague, I'm going to testify against him because he is and a well, uh, apparently uh, a liar and uh, probably uh, still pretty much a racist or certainly against the idea of black people voting. <laughs> He's not. I mean, but this is what we went over yesterday. His personal attitude is all they have. Maybe he incidentally, maybe on a personal level, he's evolved to the point where he doesn't think that black people are less than human or something. Irrelevant. His whole policy portfolio right. is anti-civil voting rights, right. period. And his record, and it's not like his voting in the Senate has shown some type of big dramatic shift away from disenfranchising people to voting. I mean, give me a break. But I don't know. Just this exchange that we're going to see now with Jeff Sessions and Al Franken seems to me should disqualify Jeff Sessions right away. The guy has been lying to the committee. He is submitting false information to the committee. He's done so in terms of his involvement, as uh, Franken's about to show, with civil rights cases. But he also has lied to the committee in terms of ethics, in terms of his uh, relationship with oil companies. Um, what's Jeff Sessions hiding? Well, I think we know. But, you know, come out from underneath the covers. Pull that sheet. What are you trying to do? Put a sheet over our eyes? But here is um, Al Franken just uh, roasting. How long is this clip? It's a long clip, but Franken just pulls them apart here. This is awesome. The questionnaire you submitted for today asks you to list and describe the, quote, 10 most significant litigated matters you personally handled. Personally handled. And among the case, you, cases Now, pause that you it for one second. Franken sets this up by saying... Senator Sessions, you've been a member of this committee. You've always said that people need to come here and give us the absolute facts. Like, you cannot tell any fibs uh, or misrepresent yourself in any way because that's, that's disqualifying. And so then Franken goes into his submission. ...that you personally handled our three voting rights cases and a desegregation case. Last week, I should note, three attorneys who worked at DOJ and who actually brought three of the four cases uh, wrote an op-ed piece in which they say, quote, we can state categorically that Sessions had no substantive involvement in any of them. Now, you originally said that you personally handled three of these cases, but these lawyers say that you had no substantive involvement. Uh, Chair Chairman Grassley, I would ask that that, that op-ed from last Tuesday's Washington Post be entered into the record.
uh, without objection, it will be entered. Are they distorting your record here? Yes. Uh, in fact, one of the writers there, Mr. Hebert, well, spent a good bit of time in my office. Uh, he said I supported him in all the cases he brought, that I was more supportive than almost any other U.S. attorney, and that I provided office space, I signed the complaints that he brought. And as you know, um, may know, uh, Senator Franken, uh, when a lawyer signs a complaint, uh, he's required to affirm that he believes in that complaint and supports that complaint and supports that legal action, which I did. We sued. So that's your, that's your personal involvement? Was that your name was on it? Well, look, uh, you can dispute the, the impact or the import of the questionnaire. Another attorney, who uh, Paul Hancock, who brought cases in our district, said, well, the Attorney General claims credit for the cases in the Department of Justice. He saw nothing wrong with my claiming that this was a case that I had handled. Okay, two of uh, the... So you can disagree with that, but okay. those cases I want to get through this, have my signature I don't want you to... on the... On, I, I want to get through on this. On the docket sheet, my name is listed number one on the, uh, as okay, the attorney well, for the case. I'm not a lawyer. I'm one of the few members of this committee who didn't go to law school, and usually I get by just fine. But it seems to me that a lawyer, if a lawyer has just his name added to a document here or filing there, uh, that lawyer would be misrepresenting his record if he said he was per personally handled these cases. Two of the lawyers who wrote the op-ed have also submitted testimony for today's hearing. Mr. Jerry Hebert and Mr. Joe Rich. Mr. Hebert says, quote, uh, litigated, uh, says he, quote, litigated personally two of the four cases you listed. He said, I can state with absolute certainty <laughs> that Mr. Sessions did not participate personally in either. Mr. Rich worked on one of the four cases you listed. He said, quote, I never met him at that time nor any other time, and he had no input to the case. These represent three of the four cases that you claimed that were among the top ten cases that you personally handled. Now, Sessions sort of like meanders, and he sort of backs off, but I can tell you um, he was rather unhappy. I mean, one of the cases of the top ten cases that he said he ever personally handled, uh, he never met the lawyer who was handling yeah. it. He never saw the lawyer who was handling it. And they all attested. And the, the, the lawyer that supposedly said those good things about Sessions had to say so uh, in a, a public testimony under pressure of being part of his office. So uh, Jeff Sessions on record as a liar. But let's move on. Aside from, uh, let's not get too meta about his... I mean, the reason why, of course, Jeff Sessions is trying to pretend like he was involved in civil rights litigation because he has such a bad record on it that he has to fabricate one. Hey, it's Sam Cedar. Why don't you uh, subscribe to this channel? You can do so right, uh, right over here. Uh, so over. Subscri subscribe.